So let's try that souffle again. I was surprised at how it turned out. And uh, I'm gonna try this time and I'm gonna actually measure and, and see if, if it uh, turns out just as good. So I'm also gonna bake at a lower temperature. So I'm gonna go to 350 and three, instead of 375. And I'm going to go with four eggs instead of two because I'm hungry. It's uh, Saturday morning here and I'm starving. Two. These are extremely cold eggs. <laughs> Three. Okay. Four eggs. Actually, got a little bit of yolk in at that time. Uh, wash my hands. But one of the yolks very slightly broke. So I'm going to scoop. A little bit of yolk out of the uh, egg whites. Probably impact the uh, ability to turn them into a meringue. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay, so got the egg yolks. Stir those up. The last time I put about a quarter cup of milk, so I'll try something similar. Let's try. Uh, Maybe I put a little bit less than that. Maybe I put a little about uh, so that's about an eighth of a cup. Let's see, yeah. Terrible. Kind of gooey, so an eighth of a cup to uh, one cup. Now, I'm going to put in some salt. So I have a big pinch. Make two big pinches and some black pepper. And this time I'm also going to put a little bit of a uh, little smoked paprika and some cayenne. Work. 
Cayenne. Spanish. And maybe a little bit of savory. Okay. And lastly, I need to put some flour in there. But first, I'm gonna first I'm gonna put uh, flour in a. Uh, flour this. I'm going to make this into my uh, casserole. Same part. Last time. Wash my hands while cooking is amazing. So. See, there's a shed hole there, skin in the process of cooking something. I've washed so much. Right, flour. I still haven't taken my flour out of the bag. I'm going to do that some point in the near future, I tell myself. A little bit of hot Nero pepper in the egg, too. So I've got, I've got a little hot Nero and, and ghost peppers at home. I've been applying those in recipes. So let's dust the sides. Pretty good. This into well, I don't need that much of it, do I? Let's try again measuring. Just so novel in the kitchen. Let's try putting a tablespoon of that flour in the eggs, and then. Uh, the rest I will uh, dump well, I guess in the sink. I missed a few spots in here, but they're on, on the bottom. I'm sure that won't make a difference. I say I'm sure and such, uh, such confidence. small whisk to the yolks just because uh, I want everything homogenized. Okay, so now I've got gooey eggs. You know, I think I might want a little more flour. Is it 
not quite as gooey as I had hoped. And I just so let's try two tablespoons of flour. Last time it was uh, considerably more gooey, and that seemed to work out pretty well. Oh, that's better. That's yeah. Look at that. That's kind of a gooey egg batter. And from what I can tell, uh, watching videos of people making souffle, that's about what we need. Okay, so I got the souffle. The uh, egg part. And I got the egg whites, and last time I beat them by hand. This time I'm going to use a, a blender. Uh, still want to put a little bit of acid in to help them lift. And we're going to beat these until we get kind of soft, firm-ish peaks. This makes me glad I'm not using a, a hand mixer. Peaks, but a little bit on the firm end of soft. Okay. So, let's fold part of that into the egg yolk. Get a good, nice mixture. Get some fluff into the yolks. I don't think this little bowl is big enough to hold all the rest of the yolk, uh, egg mixture. So I think I'm gonna have to dump the uh, yolks into the mixing bowl. And also I think it's gonna be a lot bigger than my souffle dish. I'm sure there's some rule against dumping yolk into meringue, but uh, Broken enough of those in this recipe already. Okay, 
Simple folds to get it all incorporated. Okay, that looks good. So we're gonna now fill our uh, souffle uh, with ramekin, or I don't know what it's called exactly, but the container that's been pre buttered and floured. Okay, that all fits. And last time it was all kind of lumpy on the top, so I'm going to, uh, and the pretty pictures online show the souffle being flat. I'm going to flatten it out a bit, see if I can make it pretty. Okay, so let's throw this in the oven, and we'll try 15 minutes at 150. Alexa, set a timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Starting now. So we're done, it looks like. Alexa, stop. And this is what the souffle looks like. I think this worked out again. Uh, yeah, it's it's egg fluff. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. I think it needs a little more time. It's gonna fall some, but oh! Let's try another five minutes. So this is after uh, an extra ten minutes of cooking. Still crispy. Hmm. The interior is just right. It's a crunchy, airy, mm, cheese, not cheesy, but oh, kind of got that texture of a uh, egg. Mm. So that actually confuses me quite a bit. So souffles have this, uh, myth of being very finicky. And if you open and close the doors and, and whatnot, it's gonna cause them to, to fall. But this souffle is uh, extremely robust. I mean, it's, it still has, you know, souffle-like texture. It's still fluffy. It's, it's uh, the interior is, is cooked. This is from the interior. Um, but I, I opened the door three, four times. If you count, include the, uh, removing the souffle. Um, I took it out twice and checked it on the countertop. Uh, now maybe this isn't a real souffle. I don't know. It, it, it looks like all the pictures of souffles I've seen. But maybe if I should find some place that I can uh, get one, because if this is a souffle, then it is remarkably robust compared to the uh, behavior that is rumored to have. So, anyway, I'm going to eat. Bye.